Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another gear review video on this really quite hot February morning. I'm already burning. Where's the snow gone? <laughs> My name is Abby and today what we're going to be looking at is this. So this is the Osprey Scarab Day Pack. This is a 22 litre variation. It also comes in a 30 litre variation. And then you've got the women's range, which is a 20 and a 28 litre variations. And that's called the skimmer range. What we're gonna be doing today is unpicking this pack. It is very simple, it's very stylish, and it's sold as Osprey's utility vehicle within their day packs range. We're gonna find out if it really is living up to that title and it's 75 pounds price tag. Let's get started. So here we go then, this is the Scarab 22 in the red color. It also comes in a sort of blacky color as well. And of course the women's have got different variation in colors. So as we go, I just want to compare the features between the smaller packs and the larger ones. So the 30 and the 28. Let's get started on the front. So literally this is it. It's just, an, it's, there's nothing there. It's just the, well, obviously there's something there. And what is there is the ripstop nylon fabrics. This is really quite durable stuff. It means if you get caught on a bramble, it's not gonna snag and hopefully it'll really last a very, very long time. It can take a bit of chucking around, uh, but still respect it because it's an expensive pack. Uh, so there is none, nothing on the front of this one, but on the larger packs, there is a scratchy, uh, shove it pocket so you can pop stuff in there and that just helps you maximize the space of, of the pack so the smaller packs there is nothing there then we've got uh, tracking pole attachments on the back so you can just hook your, your pole on there if you want to but there's no still on the go a loop so you can't have it to your side it's not very easy to access so slightly different there that's something just to consider Coming to the side then, we've got two dual access pockets. So these are great for water bottles and flasks like this. So you can slide it in the top like that, really nice and easy. And the stretchy, half of it stretchy, the other half is still the, the nylon fabric. Or you can pop it in the side so you can access it as you're walking. You just whip that out, have a swig, pop it back in, sorted. You don't even need to take your pack off. So I really like these pockets actually. And obviously there's the two of them. And I've got my greenish flask in that one. So coming to the back then, let's get started with the main back panel itself. So this is the Airscape, that's what they call it, Airscape bump phone back panel. So this is kept against your back, so it'd be between you and, I don't know, the clothing that you're wearing and then the backpack. So it's designed for maximum comfort and ventilation. It is absolutely very, very comfortable. You really can't feel the pack against you at all. But I am someone that sweats quite a lot when there's something against my back. So I quite like the, the packs where you've got the mesh, then space, so you've got air, and then you've got the pack itself. So it's sort of suspended. Uh, so this one is not suspended. So that's something just to bear in mind if you're a su suspended folk. Uh, but if you just want maximum comfort, something you're gonna be slinging on and off, then this should be fine for you. So the, 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 the straps against the shoulders, these are really quite thin, uh, nice soft padding. It's very comfortable, but it is quite thin. But then again, you've not got a, uh, you know, a huge amount of weight in your pack, so that should be absolutely fine. Uh, and then coming down to the sternum strap. So what we've got here is the first I've seen in an Osprey pack. So it's a magnet and basically it clips in place really easily. You don't even need to think about it. But one thing I would absolutely raise as a consideration is Remember, magnets and compasses don't go together very well. So if you're finding your compass is going a bit bananas, then that's probably why. So just bear that in mind. Coming down to the hip belt, it's very simple. Literally just a 15 mil hip belt, hooks around your waist, and then you've got no hip pockets on the smaller packs, but the bigger packs do have hip pockets. So if you want that extra storage space, I am an absolutely sold out to the hip pockets i love them i keep my phone my compass tissues everything in my hip pockets uh camera batteries as well so this is kind of a no-go for me really but it's something to consider if that doesn't bother you then this pack might be for you so coming down to the bottom of the pack flip that over what we've got quite neatly tucked away is a detachable but integrated rain cover. So actually, if you don't want to keep a rain cover in here, this could be an extra pocket. But essentially, nice sort of glove compatible zip there. And then you whip it out and you've got this green rain cover that you can shove on top of your, your pack just in case it needs a bit of extra protection. It is designed to fit the Scarab 22 and I know I've not got my pack crazy full up, but it's flipping huge. Uh, there is a toggle to tighten it if you want to, but it really is very big. and. I quite like the, the larger backpacks, uh, waterproof covers. They've got like a clip, so you can clip it around the front so it come around here, and it just means it's secured in place. So this is a little bit, mm, I'm a bit umming and ahhing about it, but it is a rain cover, so if you want a rain cover, you got one with this pack. 
and it shoves away really nice and easy. There's no tight fitting in there. It fits perfectly. Coming to the back then, the other thing to consider is we have this external hydration sleeve. So in here I've got a water bladder. This space goes all the way down to the bottom of the pack, so the full length of the pack. And then you can whip your, your tube from your bladder around your shoulder, clip it in place with these nice stretchable bands, and then clip it in place on your, 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 your sternum strap as well. So really simple, really good. If you use a hydration bladder, then that can be very helpful to access and fill up as you go. That is almost everything on the, the external face of this backpack. I just wanna come back to, I know I mentioned the, uh, the trekking pole attachment. So basically what you're attaching it with, again, is these 15 mil um, compression straps here. So they're, they're very substantial. They could have made this pack a lot lighter. So it weighs 400, 740 grams if they you know halved these and just taken away some of the, the features. But everything is, is super durable and substantial with this pack they've not compromised on the quality of materials at all so at the top of the pack then we have two ice uh, i keep saying ice axe two glove compatible uh zips so you grab hold of them and you unzip the zip and basically whip the top over and you have access to a massive compartment and all i've done is put some of the stuff i would potentially use or take with me on a day hike so i've got some waterproof trousers i've got a waterproof coat i have got an insulating jacket and that is it and you saw how empty this pack looked it really was not struggling for space at all um, so it feels huge it's literally the entire capacity of the pack right there just a big empty space if you wanted to keep little things though, stop them from falling down to the bottom of your pack and you're rummaging around, there is a little pocket just above the main zip. So it's what they call their scratch free pocket. So it's great for sunglasses and stuff, but since you've not got hip pockets, you want to shove everything in there really. So what I've done is I've just shown you what sort of things you can fit in there. So I've got some tissues, I've got a spork, I've got my head torch, never really go anywhere about that. I've got a compass and I have a pen because you always need a pen. <laughs> And that's it, so that all fits quite nicely. If I wanted to keep my keys in there, I've got a little key loop as well, so I can clip them on there, stop them rattling around. And again, another nice glove compatible zip there. So that is really it. I've got all my stuff thrown around here. It shows you what sort of things you can fit in this pack. It's really nice, it's, it, but it is so simple and it's, it's ridiculous how expensive it is. <laughs> but I guess what you're paying for with this pack is absolutely the quality of design you know this is substantial you know that this will last you know if you go into kind of a rugged place maybe you're off to iceland doing some day hikes this would be great to chuck around on the the granite rocks and take a little bit of beating with the weather so just to recap the differences between the smaller and the bigger packs then the smaller one obviously is this the bigger packs you've got that shove it pocket on the front the stretchy mesh pocket you've got hip belt pockets so you have got those pockets that's great for me i absolutely love them and you also have a single ice axe loop so you don't have that on this no access to an ice axe i'm afraid but you can pop your poles on there if you want to that is it osprey scarab 22 as well as the skimmer we've briefly touched on that which is the women's version let me know what you think have you got this pack how are you getting on do you want this pack why if you have got this pack and you don't like it also why <laughs> thanks very much for watching guys enjoy your adventures and stay wild